Welcome to Wahala Update. Eh? This one, the whole Nigerians then shock as another fresh allegation of over 100 billion naira. Don't come, come outside against the former governor of Kogi State, where them they call governor Yaya Bello. Additional over 100 billion added to 82 billion naira where the media accused them before say in thief from small kogi state where we say they don't get anything they don't get road they don't get good school they don't get better hospital nothing where really they work for kogi state if you travel go kogi state you go be like say kogi no be part of nigeria where small small development they go on for other states kogi state stand still low Look when I see the breakdown of the fresh thief thief where Yaya Bello thief where they bring out. In 2003, 950 million naira. Now him used buy property at number 25 Danube Street, Maitama District, Abuja. In 2022, him buy another property for 170 million naira. And that property is located at Block D, Manzini Street, who says on 4 Abuja. Another one for 2020, if buy that one for 66 million naira. And the property is located at number 739, Amino Kano Crescent, who say 2 Abuja. In 2022, he buy another property for 5.7 million naira, located at Hotel Department Community, Dubai. In 2021, him transfer 570 thousand dollars for TD Bank, where they for America. The account number they put them here. In 2021, him buy property of 100 million naira, and that property is located at number 1160 Cadestra Zone C. 03 Waripa 1 district in Abuja. In 2018, he buy another property for 100 million for Gusape Abuja. In 2020, he buy another property for 550 million for Maitama district Abuja. In 2016, he buy another property for 60 million naira. That one too, na inside Abuja. In another 2021, him transfer $556,000 to domicile account where they for US. In 2020, him buy property of $920 million Abuja. In 2020, him buy another property for $100 million for Use One Abuja. In 2021, he buy another property for $650 million for inside Durban Street, where they for Abuja. In 2017, he buy another property of 310 million naira for inside Use Zone 4, Abuja. This man don't steal. He don't steal enough for inside small Kogi state. Now, this man, thief, thief everything. So, this is a governor where we say he no pay salary for good 11 months. This man was busy buying properties up and down. No wonder why this man is proving to be the most powerful ex-governor in Nigeria. Because he don't thief plenty money from small states like Kogi State, where we say they don't get anything. When I remember saying that this same man, this same Yayabelo, no fee pay salary for good 11 months. This same Yayabelo, you know, he pay salary for good 11 months. Now, this same man come aside that time, say he was stand to be a president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. This same corrupt Yayabelo, now he say he won't stand to become the president of Nigeria. One can wonder what Yayabelo won't use all this money do. Myself, I don't know the answer if anybody asks me what one man they use all these properties and all this money do. Me. I don't know the answer. When I remember say before Yaya Bello become governor of Kogi State, Yaya Bello be get transport company where them they call Fair Plus. In only six months where this man become governor, you see that transport company, the thing crash down. Why it crash down? Because you see, you see all this Lagos to Abuja, 5,000 5, naira, 10,000 10, naira as at that time, 
you know rich money where this man they see for one minute. Make we stop here as we continue to the give na nyama nyama update where they happen for Nigeria. Please help us to subscribe to this more YouTube channel so that they could suggest our video to more people. By doing so, it could motivate us to the give na better better update concerning the nyama nyama and the wahala where they happen for Nigeria. My name na Rock Yusuf of Wahala Update. Nyama nyama update. Thank you. We sit there here. We're gonna give na update.